What's up everybody, welcome back to the Second Street Marvel. I'm your host Trinity, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Ice Cream Man, issue number 13. But before I get into that, please make sure you subscribe, click the little bell and all of that good stuff. I talk a lot about comics, movies, and even music on occasion. Now, Ice Cream Man, issue number 13. In case you've never heard of this series, um, Ice Cream Man is published by Image Comics. Now, the writer on this book is W. Maxwell Prince. The art is by Martin Morazzo with the colors by Chris O'Halloran, and the lettering by Good Old Neon. Now, this one I actually have here is uh, the cover B that is done by Wes Craig. And I gotta tell you, go ahead and take a look at that art there. I thought that art was actually pretty dang, uh, pretty dang sick. Now, um, I've gotta tell you, if, in case you've never heard of Ice Cream Man, this is kind of like a horror thriller uh, title. And I actually heard of this series through a channel that I follow here on YouTube called Comics on the Pyre. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a video link somewhere right up here where you can go and check out the overview that he did on the trade paperback of this series. And I've gotta tell you, um, this is the first book that I picked up and from, from this series and I thought it was really weird. It was really odd. I went through and I actually read it twice in the same sitting just to kind of absorb it because like it, it put me in a really weird place and I think that's something that's um, definitely pretty cool out of you know just out of a comic book now I got to tell you this particular issue not all of them are like this but it tells you right when you open this up and um, it tells you this comic is a palindrome and basically what that means is exactly what it says right there you can read this book forward to backward as you would a normal comic book you know forward to backward uh, top Top to bottom, right to left, or left to right, as you normally would. Or you can flip it around and you can read it uh, backwards. In which case, you're going to read it the exact opposite way, which is you're going to read it from right to left and bottom to top. Yeah, I know it's a little bit odd, and I got to tell you, um, it was something I I wasn't really for sure what to expect once I opened this book up. But the story um, is. Yeah, you, you really have to read it to, to understand exactly what that means when you read this story because it starts off and it ends the exact same. But the, what, what, what's, what's crazy about it is the many subtle nuances that we get here. But what we find in this book is there's... Um, there was a man who had uh, lost uh, one of his loved ones, and he's just kind of, you know, going through life wondering exactly what's going on. You know, he has he's had friends in his corner telling him that everything will be okay, um, you know, just giving it a little bit of time. And, you know, he's, you know, he says, you know, he basically says he finds that kind of insulting. And so what he wants to do is he wants to go confront the Lord or the King of the Underground. So, uh, and, that's, and that's what we can see him uh, doing here. You know, he's getting ready to head down to the underground to um, face uh, this person and ask him, you know, basically ask him questions like, why? Why is this going on? What do I need to do? Um, how do I move on from exactly my situation here? And I've got to tell you, this book left me feeling really odd. As I said, the uh, he goes he goes down into the underground to um, confront this king of the underground and meets a few interesting characters along the way. Now I've got to tell you, the art in this book um, it's it's pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy, you know, nothing too fancy that you can see here. Um, but I think in, in that in itself really serves the story really well. And you can see right here in the middle, um, in the in the center, of the splash panel here, where. Uh, he finally goes and gets to talk with the king of the underground, but you can see that nobody's actually home. There is nobody there. And I think that's something that kind of really plays into the story well. Um, the story that we get as he's going through this journey is it kind of seems a little bit more like who he's really uh, talking to and wanting to confront and ask these questions is himself. And it took going into a deep and dark place, you know, maybe um, on a path of discovery of oneself. And I think that's something that was definitely, definitely very interesting about this book. Like I said, for me, it left me feeling a little bit creeped out, a little bit eerie. So I'd say that this book um, done its job really well. And as you guys seen, the art in this book, I thought serves the uh, the purpose of the story really well. And I, again, this, 
I, I really don't even know what else to say other than this is something that you're going to have to check out for yourself to see if it's something that you're into. Now, I wouldn't for sure if it was something I was going to continue doing because it was just such an odd book. But uh, recently, issue number 14 was just released. I haven't got a chance to read it yet. But it, it was I guess it was it was that well put together of a story. This issue was that it kind of made me want to read the next one and see what it's like. And I can tell you issue number 14 isn't the same. It's not a palindrome where you read front to back or anything like that. So hopefully soon I'll be bringing you guys a video on that but let me know down in the comments below have you ever read Ice Cream Man and if you did what did you think about it like I said for me I thought it was just kind of a, a weird head trip and psychological thriller really that's all I have for this video today folks thank you so much for tuning in to the Second Street Marvel if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe click that little bell so you get notifications anytime I have uploaded new content what that also does is it sends you out notifications anytime that I am going to do a live video. I do live streams here every single morning on the channel uh, throughout the week uh, just talking about movies and I also do a live stream on Friday evenings called the Trailer Park Live. So uh, like I said, make sure that you uh, are no uh, have those notifications turned on and you know what, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you don't, hell, give it a thumbs down. I, I really don't care. But what's more important is that you make sure you share this video with a friend and invite them to come hang out here on the Second Street Marvel. You all have a very good day. Have a great rest of your week. Happy reading and we'll see you in the next video. Later. Later.